Hey guys, today we're gonna do a video on how to set up your microphone to the proper gain level using a mixer. So I've set up my microphone, I've plugged it into my mixer here into line one, and my microphone is set about four to eight inches from my mouth, pointed directly with its cardioid pattern directly at my mouth. And what we're gonna do here is I am going to use the solo monitoring button and I'm gonna adjust the gain, which is this black knob up here, down or up, depending on how my voice responds on these LEDs. Our goal today is when we monitor the line and the LEDs start going up and down, is that our checks, check, 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 will go directly to that zero and no more than that yellow two. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and press the solo button, which will allow the line to be monitored on the LEDs. And then I'm gonna go ahead and adjust our gain while we're saying check to make sure that I don't go above that zero or two. Check, 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 check. So there we have it. I've already adjusted my gain down. You'll see if I were to turn this up and do the same thing, check, 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 check. You actually get situations where we start clipping. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that back down to where we had it, do some checks, check, 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 check. There we go. Our check is between zero and two on the LED. Now we no longer need to monitor this anymore and our microphone is set up. You can do this with any microphone. Um, unfortunately, if you don't have a mixer, uh, you can't do it on the mixer itself, obviously, and typically audio interfaces don't have a way of doing this on the audio interface outside of perhaps having a clip light, which is not very informative in terms of how close you actually are to clipping when you're setting things up. So now I'm gonna show you how to do it using a free program called Audacity. This portion of the video was recorded using just the microphone on my cell phone as I'm holding it. So please understand that uh, the microphone quality for this portion will likely not match the microphone quality of the next portion of the video. So we're gonna hop on over to that other portion of the video and I'm gonna show you how to set it up using Audacity or just the simple Windows monitoring device. Hey guys, today we're gonna to set up our microphone using Audacity. I've already set up the microphone using a mixer in the previous portion of this video, so now I'm gonna show you what it looks like in Audacity. A lot of people may have an audio interface that doesn't have a direct line monitoring via LEDs or anything like that on it, so I wanna show you how you can use Audacity in order to set up the proper microphone levels. So since we have our microphone levels already set up, I've downloaded a program called Audacity. I've set up my microphone as the primary capture source. And now we're gonna go ahead and hit the record button and I'm gonna say a couple of checks to show you exactly where the level should be. Check, 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 check. So you can see that when I say check and when I'm talking, that all of my voice is within the visual spectrum that audio Audacity is recording. That's exactly what you want. You don't wanna have it go all the way up, even though it would seem like you wanna make your, your voice as loud as possible, because if you were to scream or if you're going to make a loud sound, it's gonna clip and it's gonna sound terrible. So this is the proper level within Audacity that your microphone should be when you're recording. And by using Audacity, you could set that as the default uh, gain control for your microphone so that in other programs it also won't be affected. So we're going to go ahead and stop this recording here and I'm going to show you what happens when your microphone is too loud in Audacity. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and start a recording. We're going to go ahead and talk and I'm just going to slowly turn up the gain on my input until it starts to clip and you're going to see exactly what's happening. In Audacity, when we start talking, it's gonna get red bars, it's gonna get clipping. This essentially means that the voltage or the gain is too high for the source in order for it to be clear. So now I've adjusted it back down, all the way down to just about where I had it. And you'll see that with my microphone about four to eight inches away from my face, pointed directly at my mouth, that now all of my voice is captured within the spectrum. 
you guys don't want to use Audacity, you just want to do a quick way, you can go into the Windows settings and go into Recording Devices, and you can see your microphone default source here. Once you set up your microphone properly, you'll notice that when you're talking, the microphone will never really go about past halfway if it's properly set up. You'll see when I say, check, 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 the microphone will only ever stay about halfway. So between the mixer, Audacity, or even within the Windows default settings themselves, this is about where your microphone should be in order for it to be properly set up before you do any sort of effects so that programs can give you the best mic quality available. Thank you guys for watching. Next we'll be tackling noise gates and compression. Later dudes.